and welcome to Small Gold's Kazakhstan Gold Reserve Update for the month of April 2018. Kazakhstan's gold reserves power past the United Kingdoms. The National Bank of Kazakhstan gold reserves are now at 314 tons at the end of April. That pushes Kazakhstan's gold reserves now 4.1 tons higher than the 310.3 tons held by the United Kingdom. Kazakhstan's gold reserves are approximately 43% of their overall official reserve assets as of the end of April 2018. Kazakhstan added about 4.3 tons to its reserves in April. That's about 140,000 ounces of gold. In 2016, Kazakhstan added 36 tons of gold. And in 2017, they added 40 tons of gold. And it looks like they're on pace to do the same. Kazakhstan is a significant gold mining country. It has become so in the last over the last decade. Produced last year almost 80 tons of gold. So, if you take a look now what Kazakhstan has done, they are now in 15th place ahead of the United Kingdom. That is according to the World Gold Council numbers of 310.3 tons of gold. The Kazakhstan numbers I got directly from the Kazakhstan National Bank's site. They also mirror the numbers that the World Gold Council reports as well. What's astonishing about the amount of gold that Kazakhstan has is that according to the International Monetary Fund, the GDP of the United Kingdom was $2.5 trillion last year, while the GDP of Kazakhstan, while it is a large country in geography, it is relatively small in economics or size of its economy, and it was only 160 billion. So the GDP of Kazakhstan is 160 billion, and the United Kingdom is 2.5 trillion, and yet the Kazakhstan gold reserves are worth more than the United Kingdom's, and Kazakhstan's gold value was worth 13.3 billion, and that's about 7-8% of their overall GDP. So clearly they are, on a per capita basis, on a comparison to GDP, very heavily weighted towards gold. Now, another country that is also weighting towards gold is the Central Bank of Russia. Russia has been adding gold, and Russia is also a large gold producer, as is China. China is number one, Russia is either number two or number three, and both countries are converting their local currencies into gold by basically buying up their domestic gold supply. Just a quick note, another country that has been adding gold, a tiny country but close to Kazakhstan, is the Kyrgyz Republic. It's a much smaller country, but in February of 2017, the central bank governor of that nation, while also adding gold to its central bank, urged its citizens to buy gold and said his dream was that every person in the country would have a few ounces of gold. At the time he made that announcement back in February 2017, the central bank of Kyrgyzstan had about five tons of gold and they just reported at the end of May that number has swollen to eight tons of gold. Another remarkable fact about the Kazakhstan gold reserves additions is that they have added gold to reserve 67 straight months in a row. And that coincides with their ramping up of gold production. So basically last year they probably took in about 60-70% of their domestic gold mining production and added it straight to reserves. Makes a lot of sense to do so. Not 60-70%, probably about 50-55%. Here is the chart showing the inexorable rise of the Kazakhstan gold reserves from 198 tons in January 2015 all the way up to 314 tons as of the most recent release from the Kazakhstan Central Bank, 314 tons in April. Now as a percentage of reserves, here's another thing about Kazakhstan. They only have about $30 billion in overall reserves, but as we mentioned, their gold is worth $13.3 billion. That's close to 43% of overall reserves. I would imagine if they just keep adding gold, it'll eventually get to 50% of reserves. 
Now, in contrast, compare that to the Central Bank of Russia, which has been adding gold at a record pace for it. But Russia's gold reserves only represent about 17, 18% of overall reserves because, as you know, Russia has about a half a billion, uh, half a trillion or $500 billion worth of reserves. Their gold reserves are worth about 80, 81 billion dollars. And as we mentioned, the Kazakhstan, according to the USGS, has increased its gold production from about 22 tons of gold a year in 2008. Within 10 years, their gold production has increased to 77 tons in 2017. So just as we mentioned, as Russia converts its rubles into domestically mined gold, Kazakhstan is converting its Kazakhstani tenge into gold. That's their currency. Here's a chart showing the top 11 to 20 uh, countries, uh, these are actually the central bank holdings, so you've got the top 11 to 20 gold reserves as held by the central banks. I've included the ECB in there, so this is really the 11 to 21, but if you strike them out, the countries are the 11 to 20, and India has been booted out of the top 10 by Turkey, uh, which is now in the top 10, um, but you can see here United Kingdom has now been surpassed by Kazakhstan and we would expect if Kazakhstan continues on its streak of adding gold to reserves every month once it adds its gold in the 68th, 69th and probably 70th month in a row later this year they will probably pass Saudi Arabia if they continue on their steady pace of adding three or four tons a year they will eventually catch Portugal in 2019 and you can see at this pace in a few years they will definitely enter the top 20 provided their gold production remains even if it doesn't increase past 70 80 tons it's been increasing every year since 2008 but if it stays at that pace and they continue to add 30 to 40 tons a year you can easily see how they are going to get into the top 10 in a few years well that about does it i want to thank you for listening please remember if you're interested in purchasing precious metals you can do so at the links below or on the small gold site you can also become, and Smuggle gets a small commission if you do indeed buy your precious metals from SD Bullion, Golden Eagle Coins, or Money Metals Exchange by using the links below or on the Smuggle website. Also, you can donate to Smuggle via PayPal, where you can become a Smuggle patron. And you can also donate to Smuggle via Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. Thank you very much for those who do indeed purchase your precious metals through Small Gold and those of you who are patrons of Small Gold or have donated and continue to donate to Small Gold via PayPal, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin. Thank you very much indeed.